Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin1913 along with Ghosty Films. And we're let's playing a new Flash game. That is on new grounds mm -hmm. called Toast of War. Toast of War! I got it. Alright, we're gonna play it as in play. Alright. Now here's a little opening cutscene. Toast of War. Hey, Hi. Grandpa! Hey, Grandpa, can you tell me that story now? What? Yeah. Guess it? Can you tell me the story you're gonna tell me? What? The story that you're gonna tell me. What? The story? Oh, yes, the story about me as a lone warrior. Toast Wars! <gasps> so, you are playing as a lone piece of toast, taking on the, the world of butter. <gasps> And other things, I guess. I've never played this game. This is an all Dan game here. Ghosty Films taking on the butter that is evil. It's margarine. Ooh, go. Oh no! Let me guess, you pop back up with that. So, why are you defeating butter or margarine? Because it's evil. Mm -hmm. Fair it's, enough. It's unnatural. It's unnatural. You have to head down. Toaster <gasps> goes. Just like Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi. Yes, just like that, Dan. Yep. What's that little thing in the back? The g purple thing? Yeah. I don't know. Get, they, they tell you messages, but I've never figured out how to get that one. Ah, who cares? You're going to beat this game, right, Dan? Pretty sure. Because you're a toaster. Or you're a piece of toast. You're the grandfather of the young toast boy and you are taking on various things mainly margarine do you fight any bagels? I don't believe so do you fight any croissants? no I don't believe so any... listen bread products are allies <laughs> oh, I'm it's cream... condiments that we eat <laughs> is it cream cheese then? Uh, maybe uh, Doubt it, no. Jelly? You must oh, have yes. to fight jelly, of course. Uh oh. Look at He's got a firm butt. buttocks. Reminds me of uh, Ren and Stimpy. Press space to pick up a weapon. Uh oh. Totally murdered that butter. But Dan, what about butter? Butter are people too. <gasps> You totally killed that thing. Ooh. This game was made by Cyanide Man on Newgrounds. The oh, same no. guy who made that other one? I don't think so. Oh, you just read the thing, huh? Yeah. A way to go, everyone. Ooh. Murdered the butter. What about if you pop out too fast or too long? Hmm, a log. I wonder how to get rid of it. Chainsaw! Yay! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bridge. Boss time. Look at that giant piece of butter. Uh, I remember how to fight this dude. You remember? Uh, yeah, I think so. You wait till he falls on you and then you slice him up. But the butter. Oh, you just missed him. Now he's going all the way to the right or left, or I can't tell directions. Uh oh. This is some crazy stuff going on, Dan. So when does your the toast become a uh, samurai? of the samurai warrior was the chainsaw in feudal Japan. Yeah, I remember that. I watched tons of movies about feudal Japan. And, uh, definitely, Yojimbo definitely used a, uh... Chainsaw? Definitely, I remember that. 
I think it was a chainsaw sword to be Oh no, this to be fair. It was a chainsaw uh sword. It was pretty neat. Oh no, I'm stuck. Uh oh. He's totally gonna eat you. He's gonna saute you and him. And then do something else, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not 100% positive on what he's probably going to do to you after he gets a hold of you. He'll probably put you in a toaster, to be fair. Yeah. And then he's probably going to toast you to a perfect round, take you out, and then slather himself all over you. Kind of sounds dirty, doesn't it? Yeah. It almost sounds like <laughs> this giant stick of butter wants to have to wait with me. <laughs> it kind of does. Because giant sticks of butter are supposedly people, too. Uh-oh, Dan killed the giant stick of butter. I can't believe he did that. Yeah, well, sometimes butter needs to die. And margarine, I guess, as well. Look at that extra life. Well, here's the question that everyone should be wondering right now. Where is that toast hands? This is quite a journey. I'm swimming across yeah, the ocean. Yeah, I know. Ocean. This grandfather's got one hell of a story. Yep. If I do say so myself. I wonder if he managed to maintain mm -hmm. his crispiness after swimming across the ocean. Yeah, I know. What's that note, Dan? It's a button. You gotta hit it? Yeah. Then where the hell are you going? I have to kill these guys first. Oh. I'm just trying to think of how to switch weapons. There we go. There you go. Oops. Uh-oh, you have to get over there, and it's turning my time. Run! Yay, you made it! Yay! Uh-oh, we got ourselves a crossbow now. The toast can use a crossbow and a chainsaw. That is insane. Cause that. Oh, look at this. Cause that. Alrighty. Crossbow time with the butter. I'm surprised the butter can like butter bat. Get in the toaster. You're hiding from said butter. Three guys in one shot. Nice job. Ooh, he's a dead eye. Now you have to hit over to make the boat go. Correct. Uh huh. Nice job. You're the king of fling. Hmm. Whatever that means. I don't even know what that means, Dan. It's a cave mouth thing. Now you're gonna have to fight. All the preservatives. Oh no, you're gonna have to fight non fructose <gasps> corn, high fructose corn syrup. Oh dear God. Oh no. Can you win against. Oh, he beats it with a crossbow. Oh, Dan is getting schooled in the cave. It says use the crossbow to light things on fire. Yay, Dan got out of the cave. There was a boss there, but it was kind of easy to beat, I think. You beat it already? Yeah, I think you just had to shoot the fire. Arrow thing. Uh -oh. See that, that purple thing in the beginning? Yeah, shoot it. That's jelly. It is a good day to die. I don't know how to get the crossbow in the beginning to shoot the one on the first. Can day you walk though. all the way back? No, I tried it once. And then work, huh? Nope. Shoot the eye. You did it, Dan. This. It's time to fight the dreaded gelat. Gelactopus. What is it called? Jelly guy. Your crossbow does no damage. It's got some good music. I can almost get down and dirty with this one. the laser eye. Watch out for laser eye, Dan. Shooting the old jelly jam. 
Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, took away a lot of energy. Oh, that close to seeing better days. Get it? I don't know if it's a good joke. Get it in the eye. Oh, Dan missed. Can Dan defeat the Jelly Octopus? We will have to find out in the next episode of Toast of War. This has been Kenshin 1913 on Left Toasty Films. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.